at least 77 residents have died inside Orchard Villa, more than any other care facility in Ontario. One of five homes the military is now sounding a dire and awful warning about. For June Morrison, whose dad died inside from COVID last month, a message to those with loved ones still inside. You want to see the summer with them? Get them out. Don't leave them in there. Why do you say that? Shortage of staff, neglect, abuse, mistreatment, it's all in the report. That report is 15 pages of detailed failures. At Hawthorne, little to no disinfection, forceful feeding causing audible choking and aspiration, residents crying for help over two hours without help. At Altamont, allegations of neglect and abuse by staff, residents bed-bound for several weeks. And at Orchard Villa, cockroaches and flies present, inappropriate PPE use. Staff frequently failed to feed residents sitting up, thereby risking choking, even an incident that appears to have contributed to patient death. There's going to be justice. There's going to be accountability. That justice could include the police and coroner, says Ontario's Premier, while rejecting that his government's decision to end unexpected proactive inspections had anything to do with where care homes are now at. It's shocking that this can happen here in Canada. No, we shouldn't be surprised by any of this. Lawyer and elder advocate Jane Meadis says the province should already be aware because many of these issues existed before COVID. So I think what we're seeing is that really uh, totally outside view of a system which is broken and they're able to point out in a way that individual residents and individuals in homes um, haven't been able to do that. Take, for instance, the military warning that Hawthorne Place only had one registered nurse for 200 residents, that Altamont often has only one personal support worker to do everything for 30 frail residents. Shocking, perhaps, but quite legal. When I see things like not setting people up to feed them, not wearing PPE properly, that's shocking. And I think it's no surprise why COVID has gone through the entire home now. So, David, do you have any sense that the conditions at, at any of the homes might have changed since the military started documenting them? Well, in their own documents, the military says that two of the homes are seeing improvements. All of the homes say they're working to be better now, but just take Eatonville in behind me here. 42 people have died inside that facility, and the military says that at times, those who were positive for COVID-19 were allowed to wander around those who were not yet infected. An obvious challenge when it comes to controlling infection. Adrian? All right, so much more to come. David, thank you.